Corruption in Albany. The Assembly and the governor have reached a deal to help weed out bad apples from abusing public power. But the measure does have a few more hurdles before it's approved. Our Capitol reporter, Kimberly Howard, live from our Capitol Bureau. Kimberly, the Senate still has to get on board with all this, and we're not sure what's going to happen there. They do, Greg. And because the governor has tied ethics reform to the budget, the legislature only really has two more weeks to make a final decision. We believe this is the most stringent ethical policy in the United States of America. Agreed on by the Assembly Majority and Governor Cuomo after a string of corruption scandals in Albany. Does that mean that you're going to guarantee that there is no one in the state government that does the wrong thing? No. But Cuomo says requiring all public officials to disclose outside income will help. The new requirements hone in on lawyers and real estate brokers who must also disclose clients who pay them more than $5,000. Sensitive cases will be excluded, such as child custody cases. Next, stripping public pensions from officials convicted of corruption, including ones who retired before 2011. Business-related travel for legislators would also be watched more closely with an electronic verification system and a new website so the public can see who is traveling where and how much it costs. Speaking of expenses, campaign funds will be barred from personal use. Such as residential home purchases, mortgage payments, rent, clothing, tuition payments. Although they can be used for attorney's fees, as long as the public official isn't convicted. Finally, stricter regulations on disclosing campaign finance. The assembly could impose most of these regulations on themselves right now, but in order for all government employees to follow them, they must also be approved by the Senate. If they have some uh, suggestions that are intelligent, we'll listen to those also. We want to get a piece of legislation that does this. Uh, which means it would be binding on the Assembly and the Senate. Now, the Senate Republicans were scheduled to meet behind closed doors to discuss this issue, as well as a few other things. A spokesperson for the Senate Republicans says they're looking at these reforms closely, but he's not expecting any sort of immediate decision. Meanwhile, Senate Democrats released a statement saying they've been the most aggressive about eth ethics reform in the past, They've pushed for a tight lid on outside income, something that was not included in the governor's reforms. Live at the Capitol Bureau, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.